What's up, family? This is your ghetto news reporter, Marion Dance, 20 Marion Lee. I'm in my city, Chicago. On 65th in Maryland at the Dr. G. Hayes block. What is my block? In the Maryland. Now, back in two, back in 1996, today is uh, September the 12th, 2020. This is the church, Apostolic Church that sung the song, Jesus Can Work It Out, part one and part two. You know, Jesus can work it out. Now my mother, Mary Lee Wright, supposed to have been, you know, supposed to have passed away March 23rd of 2000. Now, you can see the 2000 right there. You understand what I'm saying? Now, there was a guy by the name of uh, Jeff in my home group. You know, Rogers Park Alanol Club, and he had a car like this. This has tinted windows. He had a car like this, but it was maroon, and he worked for CTA. And it seemed like every, it seemed like when he came in, the group, everything went to hell. My uh, ex-girlfriend, Lawanda Joy Jacobs, she had a Saturn truck. Nothing happens in this world by mistake. There go a bag of M&Ms right there. An empty wrapper. Now, you got a E27. My mother, Mary Lee Wright, was born in 1927. I was born in 1967 see the mason eastern star you understand what i'm saying now the older people they a little more you know into all that group shit. now see this they like to play games some people i don't play games though see this say the army united states department of army game it could be game because A, B, C, D, E, G, A, M, E. And then we got a nosy person of always. It's early as fuck. He looking at my bag like he want to steal it. I wish a nigga would today, bro. I swear to God. So, yeah. I'm on 65th in Maryland, not too far from my trap house. This is a big-ass church. And one, you know, back in the day in 1996, it was up and popping. You understand what I'm saying? Now, I didn't know, like I said, that, uh, you know, Charles G's Hayes was the pastor of this church. And, you know, I was going through some hell after 1995 after I gave them my child abuse truths again. You understand what I'm saying? You know, to Oprah Winfrey and a lot of the, you know, people in my city, Chicago, you know, but they kept it on the hush, hush. They didn't want me to know, you know, how they was really getting over on me, you know, because real bad boys and girls move in silence. That's what they say, right? So, you know, I don't play games. Because life is too short to play games. So, back in 1996, I was going through hell because I was at this you know, halfway house down here. And, you know, um, they had brought me here after they had railroaded me again. You know, that's all they've been doing is railroading me, railroading me, railroading me. They had railroaded me all my life. And so this time they brought me to this 
this building that I know is my building because I gave them my book, Rhymes, Poems, and Metaphors, plus one song after 2008, after they had railroaded me again. But this time I was in this building in 1996 doing the railroad. And I know this my building because the spirit never lies. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. And nobody comes in your uh, life by mistake. Now, it says bankruptcy auction. They put this sign up not too long ago. You understand what I'm saying? You can see, you know, it has been mistreated. But when I was here in 1996, it was up and running in good shape. But it was this pretty light-skinned girl. She was uh she was one of the staff members here or whatever and a lot of people was coming out of prison or psych wars or this that and the third or whatever and stuff and you know I had a little room up in this mug you understand what I'm saying because after they railroaded me they brought me here and it's not, it's not too far from the Oakwood Cemetery I've done this video before but uh, this time it's, it's real real personal because like I said I put my book rhymes poems and metaphors plus one song up in here and i know this is my property i know it is because they haven't done anything to it since 1996 other than you know make it look the way it does and it's crazy but they want to they want to work on it but i'm still alive and you know it's all about money property and prestige that's what it was all about when they, when i was in aa they kept saying money property and prestige but i didn't know you know the severity of all this but as you see across the street you know those buildings you know are nice there's nothing wrong with it you understand what i'm saying and they know what's going on because you know in 1996 this big guy fresh out of prison with muscles he tried to um have his way with me and i stood up to him and my higher power had it where I was talking just like him. I don't know how my voice changed, but I was not scared. You understand what I'm saying? But they called the police on me and said I was the problem. And I wasn't the problem. He was trying to take advantage of me. He was fresh out of prison. And I was like, no. And I don't mean he tried to take my clothes off, but he tried to intimidate me as if, you know, he was going to bully me or whatever and stuff. And maybe something like that would have happened if I wouldn't have stood up to him. And I stood up to him. And as a result, they called the police. And uh, the police, you know, threw me on the ground, put the gun to my head. So I wasn't scared of the police. I said, pull the trigger, you know, and called him a, a bitch and shit. For real, real talk. Because why would you come after me and not the guy that came after me that was bothering me? And as a result... The pretty lady staff that worked there, light skinny, you know, I heard later on they, they fucked her around and shit. You understand what I'm saying? So you can imagine what took place because you could tell by the way this uh this building looked that something sinister happened. This should get on news reporter Mary Dash between the Mary and Lee. You know, so you know, 9-11 only happened because they wanted to get in our business and um you know, the natives of this land, America, Chicago, where I'm from, you know, and they wanted to get all up in my business and try to take over. And that's why this sign is up here, you know, because the game bangers and drug dealers and, you know, crackheads and dope fiends, you know, they work for the so-called government and they try to get rid of people who are a threat to them. Now, I don't know why it would be a threat. You understand what I'm saying? Other than the fact, you know, I did, I did it right without all that buffoonery. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. So, you know, I just had to let you know that I left here one time. And I went to that church down there. It was called Cosmopolitan, you know, church or whatever. The one that came up with Jesus can work it out. I'll put it in the description of this video, part one and two. And I went there, and because I was wearing pants, the gay preacher, Charles G. Hayes, had the nerve to tell me I had to leave. And I couldn't understand that. So you know me, later on, 
I went back and I had pants on and he had allowed me to stay. And now the church is, um, you know, being remodeled and taken advantage of and all that, you know. So all they did was, you know, they they took the money and ran. They robbed God. That's what they did. You understand what I'm saying? It wasn't nothing but a little hustle going on in my city, you know. And they used me as as bait. They was fishing. They was fishing. Yeah, so I remember my um, foster father, Leon Baker Redman, when I was little, he took me fishing. So nothing happens in this world by mistake. I guess he was letting people know that I was the big fish because I am the originator of rap. And, you know, I have to touch on the fact that, uh, you know, that's a pretty big piece of land and I'm in a trap house right now. You understand what I'm saying? And I wonder if I were to you know, take my sleeping bag and pitch a tent on this motherfucker. Because like I said, I put my book, Rhymes, Poems, and Metaphors, plus one song in this motherfucker to let him know. You know, you ain't fooling me. I wonder if I was to pitch a tent, would they, you know, say I was trespassing this shit. Because I know it's my shit. You know what I'm saying? Money, property, and prestige. Yeah, that's what they took from me. And, you know... I'm in a little trap house right now, and them motherfuckers is crazy. But I have to um, talk, touch on the fact that, um, you know, Michael Jackson and his family, you know, Latoya Jackson, she has spilled the beans on, you know, the Jackson family being, you know, into some sinister stuff. You know, somebody's been cutting the grass and stuff like that. You understand what I'm saying? I guess they waiting on me to die so they can you know, take over and shit. But uh, they got a, a can called natural ice. See, the Africans got natural hair. You know, natives got, you know, that I got a little bit of everything. So when my hair started growing, you could tell that I was part native, you know, and African or whatever. They stole my ID, you know, but I'll find a picture and put it, put it up and put the link to this with the picture or whatever, so you can see the features. That's why I'm a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and the rest came for people like you. So, um, yeah, they leave little clues like this behind. Yeah, so I don't know what Michael Jackson, his family was into, and I don't know if I'm part of um, their family because, you know, Joe Jackson had another family. Latoya Latour Jackson, their sister, mentioned it in the video that I also put in the description of this. You understand what I'm saying? Now, this could be abandoned It looked like shit on the outside, but them motherfuckers probably balling on the inside. You never know. Looks can be deceiving. You understand what I'm saying? I look like a guy, but I'm a girl. You know what I'm saying? You understand what I'm saying? So, yeah. Yeah. I just had to tell that story about the Jesus can work it out because Jesus, just us, the family can work it out. You understand what I'm saying? Everybody else is just intruders and, you know, gold diggers and opportunists. Poor mongers. You got a, you got a bush. Bush knocked down the twin towers. That's what Immortal T Technique said. You understand what I'm saying? In one of his songs. I'll put that in the description also. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, and he stole the election. Everybody know he stole the election before, you know, Barack Obama got up in there. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, if they steal, they kill, they will destroy. And that's my story on Jesus can work it out. And this here building on 65th in Maryland. Yep. They have since looked like covered up the the address. Yeah, they didn't cover the address up. All right, family. Hope I don't bust my head. Yeah, they didn't cover the address up. All right, this is Ghetto News reporter Miriam Daz between the Mary and the Lady. Peace.